Hello, thank you for your time in viewing this series of tutorial videos developed by 3D Classworks. My name is Chevy, and in this lesson, we will be covering on photo rendering. The image that you see on screen is a 3D model developed in SOLIDWORKS, and we have used PhotoWorks to apply materials, play with lightings, insert images, and decals to make this space shuttle image that you see on screen. To assess the different tools used for photo rendering, we will first need to turn on the PhotoWorks add-in. To access the add-ins, we go to the Options button here, click on the small arrow next to it, and go to Add-ins. In the Add-ins manager, make sure you select PhotoWorks. Ensure that the checkbox on the left is turned on, and on the right, if you would like PhotoWorks to start up together with SOLIDWORKS, make sure you check this checkbox over here. Once the PhotoWorks add-in is loaded, you should be able to see a PhotoWorks menu on the pull-down menus, and this is where you can access all the different tools inside PhotoWorks. Another place that you can access the PhotoWorks commands will be through the Office tabs on the Command Manager. Click on it, the different tools for photo rendering are available here. On top of that, if your add-in is loaded, you should be able to see a Render Manager tab. Now this is where uh, the different scenes and appearance and decals that you have applied to your model will be displayed. Okay, so let's start adding materials to our model here. This model is a SOLIDWORKS part model, and I have modeled it using multi-bodies. That means I use different bodies to model this 3D model. You can also apply PhotoWorks material into an assembly environment as well. To access the different materials inside SOLIDWORKS, all you need to do is click on this Appearance PhotoWorks tab on the task pane. And once I activate it, you should be able to see the different materials available for use under the Appearance folder. So let's take for example, for this space shuttle, I would like it to look white color. So I guess uh, maybe let's look for a porcelain looking kind of material. So I go under stoneware. Okay, let's choose bone china for example. So to apply the material, all we need to do is select the material you want to apply, drag and drop it to your model. After you drag and drop the material, you should see a little toolbar that will pop up asking you whether you want to apply this material to the face, to the entire body, or to the entire part. So just bear in mind as you're applying material, make sure you play with these options here. So for this case, I would like to apply bone china to the entire body of the, of the shuttle. So I just click on body, and there you go, the material has been added. So, after I've added a material, let's take a look how it looks like when I do a rendered um, image of it. So I go to the render command under the office products tab, click on render, and the software will calculate for you uh, how the light actually bounces off this certain material okay, to give it a realistic look. Okay, there you go. Notice, now you see a uh, much more shinier looking uh, space shuttle and it's no longer in the default grey colour. Let's make some changes to our material. At this stage, I realise, oh, the space shuttle looks too beige in colour. So how do I make changes to, to the colours of our materials? So all we need to do is go to the Render Manager tab Select the material that you want to edit, right click on it, and go to edit. And here you go. Up right on this pane here, you are able to make changes to your materials, such as color, you can change the type of material, you can also change the kind of lighting 
that will uh, be applied to this material. So instead of having the default color of bone china, I would like this to be white in color. So I just select white and hit apply. Okay, and you see the material is different. Now the next thing I want to do is I would like to apply a transparent material to the glass windows. So all we need to do is go to the photo works um, tab on the task pane, browse to the material that you require. Since we are looking for something transparent, I will go for glass. Okay, and maybe let's look for glossy blue glass. So to apply the material, select the material, drag and drop it on the screen. So apply it to the window body and there you go. We have our material being applied. So we just click on render to see a preview of our rendered image. And as you can see, the whole space shuttle is now white in color and you should be able to look through the glass because it has allowed light to pass through. Okay, so at this stage, I would like to make the nose black in color and maybe the borders of the wingtips, I would like it to be black in color as well. So how do we actually apply material to faces? Previously, what we have done was to apply material to the entire body. So now I'm going to uh, select a glossy, shiny black material to apply to the whole face at the bottom of the shuttle. So once again, let's go back to the photo works uh, task pane. Okay, maybe I will select rubber and I will use glossy rubber. So if I like to apply glossy rubber to this part of the nose here, all we need to do is select glossy rubber, drag and drop it to the face that you want to apply on and make sure you select face. And, I, and as I added the material, if you notice from the appearance tab in the render manager, there should be a folder called glossy rubber. So let's edit it. So just go right click on it, go to edit. And here it will allow me to select multiple faces to apply this material to. So I would like to apply more than this face. So let me just start selecting. I would like to put this face. Okay, these few faces here, and there you go. You should see the glossy rubber being applied to these faces. Okay, to this face as well. Okay, maybe the whole bottom face. I like it to be black in color. Yeah, I want to choose the tip of the wing. You do the same on the other side. over at this portion as well. Okay, here let me just use the box selection method to select all the faces that is being uh, bounded by the box. On the other side. Okay, and let's select the tip of the tail portion as well. So once you're done with this and you're happy with your selection, all you need to do is just click OK and you should see a nice preview. So let's do a render of this uh, materials to see how it looks like. So I click on the render button. So there you go. You can see the realistic looking materials appearing on screen. So if you are not able to get the desired results, just play around with the different settings. Yeah. The more you 